Welcome back. I am Olivia Lavia's Romania Tech Home, and in today's video, I am so excited to share with you guys some DIY Dollar Tree in budget friendly spring Easter decor crafts. So, I love to share with you how you can make your home's boutique gorgeous on a budget, and I truly believe you do not have to break the bank to have a fabulous and amazing home. I'm also getting my home ready for a romantic Valentine's Day home tour later this week to share with you guys. So, definitely consider subscribing to my YouTube channel and follow me on my Lovey's Romantic Home Facebook page where I share daily crafts crafting inspiration with you guys. Now, without further ado, let's go ahead and plug in those glue guns, get out your glitter and paint, and let's get to crafting. You guys are gonna love this super adorable, easy Dollar Tree pizza pan Easter decor idea. So from the Dollar Tree, grab a pizza pan and from the crafter square section, grab some of their cute burlap fabric and then simply hot glue that burlap fabric to the front of your pizza pan. And then for this one, I'm actually also going to hot glue it in and around the edge of the back. I want it to be all the way covered. The next thing I grabbed from Dollar Tree was this cute Easter sign. And this is leftover from last season, but I'm guessing they're gonna have some super adorable ones this year as well. Also from the Dollar Tree, I have this cute wired ribbon. It's actually from the Dollar Tree Plus section, and I'm going to take the ribbon and loop it over on itself six times to make three loops on each side. This is my magical easiest bow you'll ever make and it comes out so amazing and adorable. And then once I have all of those loops, you can see those ribbons off to the side. These I believe are left over from last year and I want to say maybe I got them at Michael's, but I'm repurposing and reusing them. You can see they're a little bunchy, you know, kind of like uh, but anyway, we're gonna make it work. So I just took looped them over on itself and then I'm tying them off in the center and then you wanna really give your bow a really good fluffing. So I like to pre-fluff my bow, then I'll hot glue it or tie it onto whatever item I'm creating and then I'll fluff it some more. I wanna trim off those edges. I really want to make sure it looks really adorable. Then I used the extra bit of ribbon left and put that around the edge and the side. And then I'm gonna take some pretty greenery. I actually found some with my daughter when we went thrift store shopping this weekend. And it's absolutely perfect for this project. So get creative and use what you have or just grab some pretty fun spring greenery. that little Dollar Tree Easter carrot to the base and then some little greenery around the base and check out how adorable this is you guys it's so easy to do it's so budget friendly you simply need a little sign a pizza pan some floral and some little ribbon and then you just can go for it. So you have fun with it, get creative. Your kiddos can even kind of help you design this or with the bow or, you know, just with some of the easier stuff. I think this is so fun, very budget friendly, and it would also make a great little gift idea. And it's a perfect little decor piece for any space. You could even put a little wire on the back and hang it on a wall or put it on a little easel or stand. Um, it would go cute with little books, just all that kind of fun stuff. So happy crafting, and I hope you guys try this one. Let's create a super adorable Dollar Tree centerpiece, and this is gonna be amazing very budget friendly. So from the Dollar Tree, grab one of their cute little chargers. I chose this blue and white check. And then I added a piece of styrofoam to the center and then hot glued this cute little sign to the top. And then I'm going to take this greenery. I actually found it at the thrift store, but it's so bright and pretty. It makes me feel so spring fabulous. Oh my gosh, I'm so ready for winter to be done, you guys. And I just clipped it apart branch by branch. I believe it originally came from Michael's or Hobby Lobby and um, then I'm just kind of picking it in and around the base of my centerpiece and back kind of behind the little sign because the sign is kind of tall. So I'm going to continue to add in the greenery and that's something that I would really like to encourage you guys to do is to kind of add your greenery first before you add in a lot of your florals when you're creating a floral centerpiece. And you guys can really get creative. I love to do kind of whimsical decor ideas and you don't have to necessarily use the sign but I just thought it was a cute fun way to jazz up this centerpiece it might be a little tall 
but this is what I had on hand. So this is what I'm going to work with. I then added this adorable bunny from the Target Dollar Spot. And then I'm going to add in some more greenery and, you know, just have fun with it. Get creative, you guys. This is going to be so fun and just bright and cheery. I'm telling you guys, when I started doing my Easter crafting, I got so excited for spring. Comment and let me know what your favorite part of spring is. Let's light up this comment section with goodness and happiness and joy and love. Drop your favorite scripture down below. I'm looking forward to our Easter Sunday and just so much hope and future um, joy. So I'm going to take these two little bunny, um, they're really cute little bunny, Easter bunny um, legs. They come two to a pack and I think they were fun just to pop into here to make it kind of whimsical. And then I just took some little egg garland that I had been clipping off from a Hobby Lobby garland, popped that e into either side and bam, I didn't add any bows to this, but you guys could very easily add a super cute little bow to this. I did a lot of DIYs on this day, so I just had to kind of keep it within a manageable um, time frame. But anyway, I'm also adding in some of these cute little kind of white spring flowers. And I just feel like this turned out so adorable, so fun, so happy. And I'm going to include the rest of these DIYs in this YouTube video. And then I'll also be um, kind of chopping them up and putting them on Facebook for you guys to view as well. So you guys can get daily crafting inspiration and weekly crafting inspiration. I want you guys to have fun, get creative and happy crafting. Okay, you guys have to try this super adorable candlestick centerpiece idea. So I grabbed a candlestick that I had on hand. I found it originally from a thrift store. And then I took the splatter screen from the Dollar Tree, removed the little inner part um, with a screwdriver, and then added in a paper plate. We're gonna our, set our bunny on top of the paper plate. And then just a little greenery wreath around that. Found that one at Walmart. And then I'm gonna take this wired satin ribbon and create a quick little loopy bow. This is super easy use whatever colors you love this of course is going to be for easter so i'm going to keep it very pastel i'm just going to do one loop on this but you guys feel free to go crazy with your bow i'm starting to run low on my pastel ribbon i'm really trying to use what i have so just um, use what you have in your craft stash or go grab some new ribbon whatever suits your fancy so i'm going to take this sheer pink ribbon and i looped it over on itself again and then i'm layering my white ribbon on top of the pink ribbon and then I'm just taking some scrap ribbon um, I had left over from a couple years ago. And then I'm just going to loop that into my little layers of ribbon here. I'm trying to go a little bit slow for this process. You guys can kind of see how easy it is just to take ribbon loops, layer them on top of each other, pinch it in the center. And then I take a zip tie and zip tie that baby all together. That way my loops don't move around. I can fluff it and pull it and it's nice on there. It's also really easy on my hands, which my fine motor skills because the carpal tunnel I have in my hands have been really bothering me. So anyway, to get this onto my little wreath, I'm going to take a piece of ribbon and just wrap that around the wreath and then wrap that around the bow. Super easy peasy. You guys can totally do this. Um, and then I'm going to take and make like a little shoelace bow because that ribbon loop was kind of long and it also has been reused. So you can see it's a little scrunchy on there. You guys can take an iron and um, just kind of iron out your ribbon if you want it to be a little bit more smooth if you're repurposing and reusing it. I'm also going to add in some pretty little roses, some Dollar Tree lilacs, and then just some little eggs from an egg garland I grabbed at Hobby Lobby. And bam, we have the most adorable blooming candlestick Easter centerpiece you will ever find. I did one of these back in fall with a pumpkin. You can do them for Valentine's Day, do one for Christmas. So super fun and fabulous on a total budget. Happy crafting. I hope you guys are inspired.
Okay, you guys have to run to your Dollar Tree and grab some of these super adorable little beaded garlands and these cute check gingham bunnies. Oh my goodness, I was so stoked when I found these. I just happened to pop into one of my random Dollar Trees in the area and they were there. So anyway, what I want to do is I want to take two of these garlands and just take a little floral wire twisted together. This is going to be the cutest garland and it's $3.75. You guys can't go wrong with that. So you put your two pieces of garland together and then I want to take my little bunnies and I want to spread them out. I want to make sure it's m mostly even along the garland. I think this would be really great for a mantle. Now I do have all my Valentine's Day decor up, so I don't, I'm not going to be showing you guys the finished product with it in a total like Easter mantle setting, but it even looks cute like laying on, um, you know, just like a little table. So anyway, what I want to do is take some of these little floral wire pieces and hot glue them to the back of the Benny ears. And then I'm just using, um, the ends of my wire cutters to kind of tamp that down. And then I'm going to simply wrap the wire around um, the garland a couple of times and you can just trim off the excess wire. I am using also a really fine wire. You can go to Hobby Lobby or even on Amazon and they have different um, thickness of floral wire. I like to get some of the finest wire that's really thin. It really makes it great for projects like these when you don't want the wire to be super visible. So I'm going to continue to hot glue the little wires on the back of the bunnies and then I'm going to try to space them out. I counted about 11 beads down to space them out and I think I only ended up using five of these so they would be more even. Um, but anyway, this is such an easy budget friendly DIY. You could do this with your kiddos and I think it would be so, so, so cute also for a baby's room or a bridal shower table. Think about how cute that would be. You could double down on your garland too and make it super long if you have a really big space you're decorating for. So very fun and fabulous and very, very budget friendly. Okay, and here is the finished product. This is so adorable, so easy to do. And can I tell you guys how excited I am to be back on my feet crafting this year? If you guys remember last year, I broke my ankle at this time and I completely missed out on four months of crafting. So I'm really excited to be back and I'm also excited to share my romantic home tour with you guys. So be on the lookout for that as well and happy crafting. And here's the star of the show, Benji Bear, my little three-year-old terrier. He is out for his walk. And let me tell you, we go walking for a really long time in our neighborhood, especially we're getting some really rare um, sunshiny. It almost feels like spring days. I, I don't want to get my hopes up, but today was like 59 degrees. In fact, I didn't even have to wear a coat on our second walk of the day. Um, I took him for two walks because I didn't get to take him yesterday because there was so much rain. So I really wanted him to get his walking yayas out. And as you guys can tell, he is ready to roll. He has this handsome red and white um, check plaid scarf on. He has a girlfriend on this street named Grace. Gracie. He absolutely adores her. He did get to see a peek of her earlier, um, but she did not get to go come out into her yard, but he did get to see her. You can tell he's got his strut on. He is ready. He loves walking it up. And uh, he also saw like a little squirrel too. So we got to pull him, but here he is all tuckered out. I was giving him a little tummy rub. He is definitely the cuddliest guy ever. Terriers are very rowdy, but then they're also super cuddly. So let me know what kind of puppy dog do you guys have and what is their personality like? I love getting to know you guys a little bit better. So thank you all so much for joining me on another fun and fabulous crafting and decorating adventure. It's a true blessing and honor to have you all here. If you all are new, welcome. I am Olivia's Olivia's Romantic Home. I'm a DIY crafting mama, and I love to share with you all how you can make your home's boutique gorgeous on a budget. This is my sixth season on YouTube, and it is a true blessing and honor to share my love of crafting and decorating with you guys. I am a seasonal decor enthusiast. I love to jazz up my home for every season, and I just 
just truly love crafting and decorating in general. And for all of my long-term subscribers, which subscribing is totally free, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thank you all so much for coming back and loving on me in the comment section and pressing play on my videos. It truly means so much. And on my YouTube channel, I do have all of my crafts kind of organized into playlists um, for every season. And then I'd even do like some, you know, organizing and some cleaning. I did those more at the beginning of my YouTube journey, but um, I feel like you guys like my crafting and decorating better. But anyway, I just want to thank you guys for being here. It's truly me and you guys and my iPhone camera. I have it set up on a tripod and I film, edit, create, produce all of my own content so you guys might notice some you know things here and there that aren't perfect but you know i'm just going to keep putting out content for you guys and sharing my home and my love of crafting and decorating and speaking of my home i'm still in the same little home that i was in at the beginning of my youtube journey i did uh, paint the walls and you know added a little back patio but i truly just you know have always bloomed where I've planted. So I feel like I want to encourage you guys to do that as well. And speaking of blooming where you're planted, we are all going through something right now. We don't know what is going on inside one another's hearts, the pain that we might be enduring or the life changes that we might be enduring. So please do your best when you're online to be kind. If you see somebody post something that's, you know, a picture of their grandkid or their kiddo or their husband or their garden or their home, give it a heart, give it a like. Like you don't know what that kind comment and that heart on their post might do for them. Even if you're not in the mood to like somebody's post, just like it anyway. Sometimes I'll even go like on a liking spree and just like the first top 10 things in my newsfeed, I'll just like and love all of them. Even if I maybe don't like and love that person all the way, you know, um, you know, because we like and love whoever at different times. So what I'm saying though is please be encouraging because our digital footprint is out there. What we do and say online um, can resonate with people and it can hurt people and it can also help heal people. So be kind, be encouraging, and um, start your day with a prayer card. Start your day with a little Jesus, it can't hurt. Um, I get all of my prayer cards at the Dollar Tree, and I have a lot of you guys ask about that. Yes, I put them right by my coffee maker, and I grab a prayer card every morning because at least I'm gonna start my foot off on a good, you know, footing, um, a little scripture. I open up my uh, daily devotional. Sometimes I just read it and it, it goes into my brain. I'm able to live that out through the day. And sometimes I just read it. It makes me feel a little bit better. And you know, I don't really remember and I flub up, you know, and I'm not perfect. So I think we all need grace and we need to give each other grace. So thank you guys again for being here. If I could hug every single one of you, I would. I'm hugging all of your hearts so tight. And no matter where you're at, please don't give up. If you've woken up, this is another day God has given you to open up your eyes and um, do something good for that day. Smile at somebody, send them a nice text, send them a nice phone call, um, make some cookies for your neighbor or a friend that maybe you need to reach out to. Um, so just do your best and um, keep smiling. You know, look at some cute babies or doggies online. You know, they're always doing funny things. I know that uh, my little puppy dog, Benji Bear, is always doing something crazy. And another thing I want to remind you guys, because I really like to kind of talky talk at the end of my videos, please move your body. Okay, moving your body. I saw somebody somewhere say, moving your body brings hope into your body. It brings hope into your muscles and your bones. And I'm not saying you have to go out there and be Jane Fonda by any means, but I am saying that moving your body is going to bring hope into your body. It's gonna bring hope into your emotions. It's gonna lift our serotonin levels up. So maybe you're not able to get out of bed even. You can still move your arms. You know, when I broke my ankle, I could not walk for about four months, um, like normally. I was eventually in a boot, um, but what I did is I bought some little one pound hand weights. I actually bought one, three, and five, and I was sit there and move my body because I read that even moving my upper body would help the blood circulation and blood flow with my lower body. So if you guys, you know, have health problems going on or whatever, moving your body around, that's going to help your mental health. So I just want to remind you guys, get the walk in, take those doggies for a walk when, if you can. Um, and you know, if you can get to the gym, if you can join a little yoga class, whatnot, I want to encourage you guys this year, let's go for it. Let's really get ourselves into tip top shape. And you guys might notice by some of my stories. Oh, and don't forget to drink your water. I always love drinking my water. Um, 
but I have switched from coffee with a bunch of sugar and stuff in it first thing in the morning to tea with lemon. And actually even the first thing I've been drinking is just water with lemon, then I have the tea with lemon, then I have a cup of black coffee because I really wanna to try to really set myself on a good health journey this year. I don't think there's anything wrong with, with coffee, with a little cream or whatever, but just doing that has really helped my digestive system, I can tell. So anyway, there, there I am. I put it all out there for you guys, but I hope this encourages you guys and you take a little nugget from anything that I've said, or you can leave me a little nugget down below. I, everything helps and we're all in this journey together. So I'll let you guys get back to your day. I hope you enjoyed the video. And until the next video, remember, be kind to yourselves, be kind to one another, and we'll talk to you guys very soon. Bye. Ooh.